Hello! Welcome to or welcome back. My name is Angela and I like to inspire creativity in others. So today we are going to be working on a jean skirt dress that has jeans at the top and a skirt at the bottom. This project comes from an inspiration picture from one of my videos. I'll show you the picture and I'll show you the video. You've probably seen it. It's one of my most popular videos. Here is the shower curtain. We will be using these jeans right here. We are also going to need a tape measure, some denim sewing needles, a rotary cutter if you have one. If not, you can use scissors. And of course, some scissors. You will also need a cutting mat. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with this project. So I have gone ahead and taken and laid the pants out. I'm going to use this ruler right here to mark my spot. I'm going to use this marker right here to mark along the line that I would like my pants to have on it. Okay, so I'm going to make sure everything is all straightened out. I'm going to place my uh, line right below the zipper. Um, I want some nice uh, jean fabric that can be sewed on that's not like double sewed. I'm going to take my measuring tape and I'm just going to go ahead and measure from here to here and here to here to make sure everything's even before I draw my line. I think we are all set. Now all we need to do is draw that line. So let's go ahead and get started with that rotary cutter. Now I'm just going to go back with the scissors and cut through any parts that the rotary cutter missed. Okay, here we go. We have our piece now. Okay, so I'm going to measure from my waist all the way down to the floor. I do need to account for the actual pants piece, so we're going to go ahead and cut off to the end of the pants piece, measure a billion times, cut one. Like before, I'm gonna go ahead and mark this. Okay, now we have the right size piece and we're gonna figure out how big we need to make it around our waist. Okay, so let's see how big this shower curtain is. We'll say that works. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make this whole length of the shower curtain the whole length that I'm going to sew. Now we're going to take and sew along the cut side and what you need to do is adjust your sewing machine to the longest stitch and we're going to sew across that and then we're going to pull one of the threads to gather it. Um, I'm going to sew my stitch out a little bit. No need to go backward and forward because we're going to be pulling these stitches. On the last end, you will want to go back and forth to secure it, so when you're pulling your thread, it won't come all the way out the back. So we are going to secure the back a little bit. Okay. Next thing we are going to do is grab one of the strings, not both, and we're going to go ahead and pull that string. And we're just going to keep pulling it and pushing the gathers over until we get all of our gathers in there. Now you want to be gentle because this is just thread, but it will hold as long as you're gentle. It is kind of a time consuming uh, process, so it will take you a little bit of time to get through this. So now what we need to do, take our pants. So I'm making sure that it goes around the bottom half of the skirt. Our next step is to tie the string off that we were pulling on. Now if you want, you can adjust any of the ruffles that you would like. And the next thing we're going to do is sew this to the skirt. We're going to turn the pants inside out. And we'll make sure that it is wrong side to wrong side so we don't sew it the wrong way. We need to pin the skirt to our jeans. I'm going to go ahead and cut along the pocket here so it doesn't come out. I don't want to remove the pocket. I'm just cutting along it the excess fabric so I can take that off. So as you can see, the front is taller than the back and that is to allow room for the boute. So I didn't cut this wrong, it's just that the front is taller than the back. Now we're gonna go ahead and get started with pinning our skirt to our pants. 
We are going to find the middle of our skirt and then the middle of our pants and start our pinning right there. I'm going to measure the length of our skirt here. Okay, so that length is about 40. So we want to put a pin in the middle here to mark it at 20. We are going to start in the front of the skirt. Okay, so in the front, we want to have the front be right in the middle. You want to pin above the area where we gathered it. I'm just going to go ahead and pin the rest of this off camera and I'll see you momentarily. And I have them pinned all the way around. What we want to do next is go ahead and pin the back all the way down. So we want to do that and then sew up that line and then we'll go ahead and sew around our jeans. So one thing I did want to mention is as I was pinning, um, I went from the half all the way around to the other half and then I went back and went to this second half and went all the way around to the back half. Okay, so as usual, I'm gonna go ahead and pin the rest and I'll see you when it's pinned. I did go ahead and start my pinning. I restarted my pinning at the bottom. So I went from the bottom all the way to the top here. So first we're gonna go ahead and sew the seam that goes up the top and then we're gonna sew around the pants. And now we have our seam sewn together for the back. And the very last part to do is sew the jeans to the fabric. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the extra from the seam. That'll make it easier for the sewing machine to go through the, uh, the fabric, not the string, the fabric and then we should be pretty good to go on being done and trying it on. If you have an overlocker or a serger, this would be a good time to go ahead and serge this. All right, we are done sewing it, so I will be back with the final reveal. All right, are you ready to see the final skirt? Here we go. I went ahead and added this little flower like in the picture. Um, I did attach the flower to a safety pin so all I have to do is undo the safety pin and the flower will come right off when I want to wash my new skirt. And here it is. This is the skirt. Leave me a comment on what you think about it. Um, do you think that it is uh, nice or do you think it is uh, not nice and what do you think about the fact I used a shower curtain for the bottom is that not creative or is that not creative so I would like to thank you so much for watching today's video I put a lot of work into it so I would love it if you would subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any other creative posts if you got value out of this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up that would really help my channel and it would give me a warm fuzzy feeling in my heart and last of all if you would like to give me a super thanks that would be awesome um, but just a thumbs up is free so that is fine too i hope you have a beautiful wonderful fantastic day and i will see you in the next upload peace out